Green screen can be a fantastic tool for your filmmaking arsenal, but it can also be a complete disaster if you don't use it correctly. Here are some essential tools to make sure you're doing it right. So before you run off filming on a green screen, make sure you watch this video so you won't pull your hairs out of your head from frustration in post-production. First, stretch your green screen as much as possible so you don't get any wrinkles that can create shadows on your green screen. The next step will be lighting your green screen as even as possible. You can check if you did this right by switching on the zebra settings on your display and gradually exposing your shot. If the zebra lines fill up your green screen evenly, then you're good to go. Try to place your subject as far as you can from the green screen to avoid any green spills caused by the light bouncing off your green screen. It's also super important to light your subject in a way that matches your final shot. For example, use a blue backlight if you know it's going to be a night scene. Minimize motion blur created from your subject moving around by shooting on high shutter speeds. And of course, avoid any green clothes or accessories. So these are the basic do's and don'ts when using a green screen. It's all about getting a clear separation from the background and matching the lighting to fit your final shot. We hope this video helped you out. Until the next time, stay creative.